welcome back to Rabbits Forever. And I thought today I would actually show you one of my bunnies. This is my girl Luna. She is an English Angora. She's missing all of her facial furnishings right now because I cut them off. So that way I wouldn't have to deal with all the mats. This breed of rabbit, I really do not suggest for a first time owner because they are very high maintenance as you can see from all the wool. I mean, look how long that wool is. From my pointer finger here to this finger to my pinched fingers right here, that is how long her wool is. And it gets much longer if you properly care for their wool and let it continue growing out. Plus it also deals with genetics and stuff like that. She has amazing genetics, so I am assuming her wool can get a lot longer than what it is right now. I'm probably not going to let it because I live where it gets really hot. So after this next show here coming up, I'm probably going to cut her completely down so that way she doesn't overheat or anything like that. But this is a blue English Angora by the way. Her, her color is blue. So she actually has really good color. I wish she was darker but the fact that her blue goes so far down to not all the way to her skin but pretty darn close that makes me really happy as a breeder. I can't breed her sadly since as I said in my previous video that she that I'm going to be moving into an apartment with these guys and I just can't breed. So I might actually be selling this pretty girl to a friend who is a breeder and who can use her because she's almost grand champed. <clears throat> and I'll explain that in a future video for Arba, the how to grand champ a rabbit and how to show them and stuff like that. So this girl, she's actually really matted right now. And the whole point of this video, I'm gonna show you how to groom an English Angora if you do have them. And I don't know if you can see it from the video, but I've been already grooming her. I actually trimmed down her belly so it doesn't get matted. She doesn't get her feet stuck in the wool and stuff like that. Plus it helps me with time because it takes forever to groom these guys. And my puppy in the background, that's little Daisy. But, so on average, I will spend about 30 minutes to an hour grooming her. And that's if I only groom her about once a week. If I groom her more than once a week, then I'll spend about half an hour. Half an hour to 45 minutes, depending how many mats she has and what time of year it is because I learned from having them for the short time I have that the winter they don't actually have a horrible time but I think it's because in winter we don't have as high of humidity here where I live and the humidity kind of just clumps all that wool together and makes it stick which makes it mat up and get bleh but right now her wool's not that bad but I also groomed her earlier this week but it's still pretty messy. So I'm gonna show you how, a quick tutorial on how to groom an English Angora if you ever do get one. English Angoras are different from like French, German, giant, satin Angoras and stuff like that. And it's all due to their wool. And of course, these guys have facial furnishings. I think the only other rabbit that has facial furnishings is the giant. And uh, but they are, pro I believe they're the oldest breed of Angora, but their wool is super fine. It has very, very few guard in it, so it mats up a lot easier than any other breed of Angora. I don't know why I got into English Angoras, because they are probably the most difficult animal you will ever own, especially in the rabbit world. <laughs> But she's been a lot of fun, beautiful, amazing temperaments on these animals, on this breed of animal. I mean, absolutely incredible temperament. I mean, she does stomp at me every once in a while, but that's also because she's a doe. 
which I'll also go into all that in future videos as well. I wanted to get this video done and over with because I am going to be clipping her down and keeping her wool short so you won't be able to see grooming on a long wooled angora like her. But let me get started. So the first thing you use, you want in before buying an angora is a slicker brush. I buy ones that are that have little beads on the end so you're not stabbing their skin if you are ever scratching their skin. Let's see if I can get a better close up. See those little beads? So it's not just solid metal. Yeah. And this one, I get a smaller slicker brush because you don't have to worry about stabbing their eyes out when you're brushing their face. Um, so what you do with these is I'll just, before grooming, just quickly run them over the ears in between over because they've got these cute little ear tassels. And usually they'll get a lot longer and since her wool on her face is so short, I'll do a quick brushing on that. But typically, if her facial furnishings weren't so short, I would actually have to blow her um, wool out on her face before ever using this. And when using this on the long wool, you want to grip down at the base and just gently pull after you're done blowing all the webbing out. Which webbing is kind of, it's the loose dead wool inside of the wool. So if you split it up next to the skin, you can't really see it, but she has a bit of it. Not much since she isn't molting or anything yet. But where this white patch is, that's close to her skin, and that's where all that webbing is going to happen. It's right near that white patch. And if you don't get rid of the webbing, it's going to mat up and turn into big clumpy mats that you're just going to have to cut out or spend forever trying to brush out or blow out. So the second most important thing you're going to need for Angoras is a blower. This is actually a shop vac because it was a lot cheaper than an actual pet blower. But it's pretty simple. You just take it and blow them. So I have a shop vac that has the suck and the blow option. I only use the blow option because this is just for my Angoras. I haven't had to use it to vacuum out anything or anything like that so far. But yeah. And yes, it is scary for them the first time, but these animals are so calm and just relaxed because they're used to being handled like this every single day, maybe two, three times a week, but they still deal with this all the time. Some Angora breeders will groom them every day. Some of them only groom them once a week. Some of them don't even groom them other than maybe once or twice every other week. So, but this one is super loud because like I said, it's not an actual pet grooming blower. It's a shop vac, so it is very loud. But for Angoras, you want at least, I would say at least a four horsepower because these guys, their wool does get very long and you want it to blow hard on that webbing to push it out to the ends of their wool. So that way you can brush it out. Or sometimes it'll just completely just blow right out and you don't have to worry about it. These guys are incredibly soft because it is wool. Yes, I know most people haven't heard of a wool rabbit, but this that I'm grabbing is wool. It's 100% wool. It's not fur. It's not hair. It is wool. But let me give you a quick demonstration on just blowing them out. And I won't get it completely done during this video, I'll do it after, but I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Yeah, 
yeah, as you heard, that was super loud. Let's see how much volume her wool's gotten just on this side. I don't know if it's very visible on the video, especially since it's on the side and wasn't along the top. But she's gained a lot of volume because it's just taking that wool that's all clumped together and how my friend described it is zipping. So it just unzips the strands from each other. So it just gains in volume, gains in height, and everything. And usually during a show, I'll do this at least four times during that day. So while I'm at the show, I'll do a quick groom over just to get rid of all the mats. Right before one of the shows, I'll blow her out again just to get that volume and fluff. And then after that, I will put her back in the cage for a little bit, blow her out again, and then blow her out right before the other show because there's usually about two or three shows a day if, there's no, if your rabbit's not going into a specialty show as well. Which again, I will go over that all in another video. I just wanted to show you how to properly groom an English Angora and that they are very high maintenance animals. And I know there is a big craze on the internet about these adorable cuties, but even when their wool is short, like that little poodle cut and stuff like that, you still have to groom them. Even if you do buy a little slicker brush and not even a blower because you plan on keeping their wool short their entire life, you still have to groom them constantly. Because even at a short length, their wool still mats up really fast. And if you get a mat all the way down to the skin, it's very difficult to cut it off without proper shears and stuff like that, which are very expensive to buy. Or taking them to a pet groomer, which some pet groomers won't even accept these guys because they are a rabbit. They're not a dog or a cat or something like that. They are a rabbit. But I hope that helps anybody. And I'll be re-watching the video to see if I missed anything or if I could go into anything further in detail. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.